Hey everybody, all right, Jerry here, and I want to uh, show you one of the best tricks I think ever and learn when it comes to logging my soda contacts. I'm gonna go on to my phone, I'm gonna record my screen because I use the Hamlog app, which has a little 73 icon, you'll see it here in just a second. And that app is what I use out in the field to, to log all my contacts. And then when I get back, I update everything with the QRZ file, and then I send myself a CSE, CSV file and then I'll show you exactly how I upload that into the Soda site. So let's get started with the 73 app. So the first thing I wanna do is you can see right here the top left corner of my phone. It says Hamlog, SodaGo, and, and a Gia GPS. Those three right there are my top three apps when it comes to activating summits on the air. Uh, but the Hamlog app, or 73, this is my last Soda activation that I did on, um, on Monday, there's 21 contacts. I can open up each one, just hit look up, save. Go to the next one, look up. And if it doesn't enable to fetch, just do it again, save. And then just, just do it for each one. And all I'm doing, I'm not changing the time. I am just adding the information from QRZ. You can see this is 21 contacts right here and how fast it actually goes uh, to get this all done. So. I will do this really quick. Here's Tommy, one of my favorite guys. Tommy, we got to get you on social media, man. Hopefully you can find this video. Um, and then we go through each one. Some of the names are uh, in there. The other thing too is uh, while I'm doing this, I do delete my file out of my phone each time because it makes it so much easier to send myself a CSV file uh, just for that specific date and uh, I don't have to worry about it. I also push these contacts to CloudSync and uh, I use Mac, and on my Mac, I'm able to uh, upload a big log, and, and I, I'm not very good at that. People ask me all the time, hey, where do you log? Where do you keep all your stuff? You do it on QRZ, uh, Log Week of the World? Um, I don't. The only log I keep is what I submit to Soda. I'm not really kind of a, a big logger guy or contester. Gary, Gary and Martha, two of my favorite uh, activators right there, regular guys, I really appreciate getting them. Actually, there's a bunch of them on here. George is another one. Uh, here's Martha right here. And, uh, and then uh, K K9IR Paula. So that's how I did 21 contacts. We got all their contact information in there. Then what you do is you just simply go to tools and you do export log entries. And I use Soda CSV version two. It comes up, the peak is what I need to know. Okay, so I happen to remember uh, which peak it was that I activated. It was actually a, a new peak. It was Whiskey 6, Sierra Delta, and then uh, 459. So I'll just hit enter. It takes all these and I'll email it to myself from, I usually just do it from my regular email address to my regular email address. And then uh, I just hit send. And it's gone. So that is all there is to logging or I'm sorry to sending yourself the CSV file from your phones so now I'm going to go into how to uh, bring those files into the soda website okay so I just finished recording the screen from my iPhone and showing you how to update uh, all the entries in the log so you can prepare them to send to yourself as a CSV file. Once you send the CSV file to yourself via email, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open that up right now. So here's the file it's sent to me and here's the attachment. So I'm just going to take the attachment and I'm actually going to just drag it to my desktop and I am done with mail for now. I will drag that over here because I know where my other screen is going to open. And then I'm open up my, my web browser and this is where I'm, I'm logged in. I'm gonna go to import activator uh, and CSV file. This is what you're gonna need to look for. Once you get to there, it's select CSV file, choose your file, go to your uh, desktop or wherever you've got your file hidden. Mine is right here on my desktop. You can see all the entries, CSV file, the date in case you have multiple ones. Choose it, you upload the file. Here's the contacts that I made on that peak on the 19th of March. And all I do is simply hit submit entry, hit agree, submit entry. I'm done. So 
So that is everything on how to quickly upload uh, your contacts from a SOTA activation directly into the SOTA website using the Hamlog app and CSV files. If you got any questions, put them in the comments below. Uh, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. You will need to have a couple things though. You will need to uh, get the Hamlog app. Uh, I use obviously Mac products. Uh, they should have that app for uh, Android. And then, uh, in fact, I know they do because uh, Kevin uses it. And then you just saw the process. Just update it, email that date range to yourself, pull it offline, and uh, upload it into the SOTA website, and you're done. And then the last thing I do is I actually go into my app on my phone. And what I do is I just do tools, and then I do delete all log entries, yes. And then you'll go look, and my log is not clear. So I start with a clear log so that when I go out there, everything's ready to go. And that's it. Uh, if, you like, if you like this video, do me a favor, hit like. Uh, more importantly, engage the community, and hopefully we get to talk to each other out on a, on a summit someday. And uh, hit that subscribe button. That does me a, a big favor. I appreciate that, knowing that I'm getting out to you guys. And uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next one.